This morning, the parents of 17-year-old Eric Cantu, along with their attorney Ben Crump, speaking exclusively with ABC News in their first sit-down interview. They say they believe their Hispanic son was targeted when he was shot by a police officer while sitting in his car eating a burger. You think it was racial profiling? I think he had that in his mind frame. I think he already had a preset thought about who that person was and how he was going to take care of that problem. The teen's family sharing new photos overnight says he's progressing, but still on life support. He talks with his hands and he tries his best. Um, it's, it's hard for him. I don't think I'll ever feel comfortable saying he's getting better until I, I see him walking out of there. Earlier this month, police say Cantu was shot while eating with a friend in the parking lot of a McDonald's. I got a vehicle over here that uh, fled from me the other day. San Antonio police officer James Brennan since fired from the force, approaching the car, then opening the door. Get out of the car. Wow. Police body camera footage shows Cantu attempting to drive away while Officer Brennan fire, continues fire, to shoot. Cantu's father saying his son was not trying to hurt anyone, but instead trying to get away from the situation. What do you see in your son's face in that video? Fear. I know my son's faces. He was scared. He was surprised. And he reacted. Cantu shot at least four times, handcuffed, bleeding on the ground. 27-year-old Brennan, on the force for just seven months, charged with two counts of aggravated assault by a public official and is currently out on bond. This man's out walking around. Guess where my son's at? Laying with a tracheotomy in his throat. We'd like to see the charges uh, raised to attempted murder for two accounts. Um, and other charges made to any officers that were involved in the brutality during the arrest as well. San Antonio police telling ABC News it submitted its case to the Bear County District Attorney's Office. Cantu's family now considering their legal options and focusing on their son's recovery. We want justice, yes, but we want Eric to live. We want Eric to live to tell his story. This morning, young Eric remains in critical condition. The local district attorney here, Joe Gonzalez, tells me he plans to send this case to a grand jury. If convicted, Officer Brennan could spend the rest of his life in prison with no parole. John Quinones, ABC News, San Antonio.